From health supplements to anti-aging serum, everywhere you look online, someone is trying to sell you something. I'd like to take a brief break and acknowledge our sponsor, Athletic Greens. But what makes it all so believable? A lot of times these things will have a nugget of truth. Like you said, they kind of prey on this limited understanding or they prey on this seed of truth. Um, and then they extrapolate it into something that doesn't have data to support it. Probiotics is a good example of something that seems logical and you might even think to buy, but it's actually just marketing hype. Probiotics are not only great for your cooter health, they're also great for your gut health. So your gut microbiome is full of trillions of microorganisms. Most beneficial for your health but some are actually harmful and the claim is that taking probiotic supplements full of good bacteria improves your gut health which reduces acne bloating and a thousand other different promises it sounds logical but in reality taking probiotic supplements is like adding a single drop of water into the ocean and expecting the saltiness to change that one small probiotic capsule won't make an impact on the trillions of microorganisms that live inside you already and there's no evidence that probiotics are beneficial for already healthy people but despite this the probiotic market continues to grow and line the pockets of influencers selling them. It can be very difficult for the general public to be able to tease out what science, what pseudoscience. Now there are certain topics that are pretty obvious, but when we talk about like health pseudoscience, especially as it relates to a lot of the recent claims that have cropped up, it's a lot more difficult for people to tell. Watch a full video down below on how to spot whether a health influence is full of shit. Follow for more medical experience like these.